for today's demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this look using my Natural Hair Extensions Kinky Straight Clip-Ins. Now, I am completely natural and I am in the 4 category. Most of my hair is 4B. So when I flat iron my hair, I don't get that volume. I don't have that thickness that I desire. So I added clip-ins that are the same length as my own hair just to give me that extra boost in volume. If you're looking to add length and volume, then you will need two sets and I will be demonstrating that in a later video. Okay, so as you can see, I do not have the clip-ins in and my hair is just not as thick as it was before. Each set of the Kinky Straight clip-ins will come with seven pieces in one set. It will have two pieces that are two inches wide with one clip on each. It will also have two pieces that are four inches wide with two clips on each. It will have two pieces that are six inches wide with three clips on each. And your seventh piece will be nine inches wide with four clips on each. The great thing about our Kinky Straight Clippings is that they will come either double or triple wefted depending on the length, giving you optimum thickness and volume without having to use so many pieces. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my hair parted to the side. I chose to do a side part. I think that is what looks most flattering on me. If you decide you want to do a middle part, then just kind of tweak the video a little bit and you'll see what I mean as we go along. I'm going to be taking one of the clips that is four inches wide and adding it about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and part with my fingers. No fancy parting is necessary. Adding the clips to your hair, you want to make sure that the clip has some of your own natural hair on both sides. So for instance, I have hair here, a little bit to the left of the clip and a little bit to the right of the clip. And you'll see why I do that towards the end of the video. The next piece, I'm gonna go up maybe about two inches. And now I'm going to add one of the clips that is six inches wide to this section of my hair. Next I'm going to go up about another two inches to right here in the middle of my head. And I'm going to take the longest piece, which is nine inches, and try and wrap that to slightly above my left ear to slightly above my right ear. The clip is right here and it's right above my ear with enough of my edges or my hairline in the front. And you always want to make sure when you're adding the clips you do not go all the way to the edge of your hairline. And now I'm going to go ahead and cover that track. the first three pieces in this is the best time before you put any more clips into your hair to decide how you want your hair to lay whether you want to do a half up half down or whether you want to do the side part or middle part and for today I am going to be doing a side part I am now going to take the last piece of the um, the last clip-in piece that is four inches and add it right here. I'm 
want to take the last piece that is six inches and add it onto this side of my hair. And then once you cover up that piece, you should only have two pieces left which are my two smallest pieces, and then I'm just going to place these comfortably in the front. And there you have it. A nice, thick head of voluminous hair that looks like it is yours. It looks like it's growing out of your very own scalp. No one will be able to tell that this is not your hair. The reason why I say you do not want the clips to come all the way to the edge of your hairline is because if the wind blows, or if you wanted to pull it back into a ponytail, you can do that without any clip showing with ease. So as you can see here, there's no clips visible anywhere on the side or in the back. So thank you for watching and I really hope this was helpful for some of you who are looking to do either a traditional sew-in or if you want to dibble and dabble in the clips a little bit. Um, trust me, the clip-ins are a lifesaver. I do believe they are a must-have for every woman. Clip-ins can take you from drag to fab in less than five ten minutes i absolutely love them and don't forget to add your extension needs to storage carrier to your checkout cart this is the best way to store and travel with your clip-ins to keep them from getting tangled or messed up and this also prolongs the longevity of your hair until next time ladies have a wonderful day